Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Kia Aina was born and raised in Guam and spent more than 24 years in Washington also working in the House and Senate. She said that a federal government assessment of its underlying relationship with Guam is long overdue. Identifying mutually with Guam leaders the gaps, inequities, or impediments under current federal law, administrative, statutory, or constitutional, that can either help or continues to hurt Guam. Now Kia Aina worked extensively on Native Hawaiian rights and suggested in Guam's quest for self-determination it should ask Washington to pay for a cost-benefit analysis of each political status option. Assessing the potential of each, she said under free association, an economic package would likely be off the table because Washington is broke. On statehood, she wondered whether Guam is too small and remote, which leaves independence as an option. But she also floated one other possibility, an enhanced territorial status, though it is not among the current choices under consideration by the Commission on Decolonization. Overall, she said, the applicability or inapplicability of federal laws and regulations will continue to be the greatest external factor affecting Guam's economic development. She urged officials to engage new Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke, who made specific mention of territorial issues in his official biography. Most importantly, our sovereignty and nations and territories must have the respect and the freedom they deserve. I implore you to take those words to heart and go and talk Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lecanto. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.